Honda Pilot is a great choice for a family car. It has plenty of features that make it a comfortable and safe car to drive, and it also has a good amount of space, making it a good choice for long trips. The Honda Pilot is a great choice for a family car. I can't say that enough. The Honda Pilot is a great choice for a family car. Here's why. Pilot is a popular choice amongst drivers who are looking for reliability and affordability. And it's the longest running car that I ever had, personally. Kept mine for nine years. Or was it eight? Anyway, Honda Pilot is an SUV that was first introduced in 2002. The Pilot quickly became one of Honda's best-selling vehicles, and it remains popular today. Over the years, the Pilot has undergone several facelifts and updates. The most recent update was in 2015, when the Pilot received a new grille, headlights, and taillights. The interior was also updated, and a new 8-speed automatic transmission was introduced. And I know for a fact, from 2005 to 2006, the taillights were pretty much all that changed. But that's just me, because it's the one I own. Anyway, despite of all the updates, the Pilot has stayed true to its roots of a family-friendly SUV. It continues to be one of the most popular vehicles in its class, and is sure to remain a staple in the Honda lineup for years to come. It was designed to be more of a family-friendly alternative to the Honda CR-V, and it quickly became one of the most popular SUVs in the market. As far as the lineup goes, you start out with the Sport. That's right, you start with the Sport. That's the base model. It starts at 38,000. Then you jump up to the EXL, which starts out at 40. Then you got the Special Edition at 40,009. Then the Trail Sport at 44,800. The Touring, which is usually right around the top of the line for a new Honda, at 44,870. Then you got the Elite version, which Honda started doing in recent years, at 50,370. Quite a jump, but you get pretty much everything in there. And then if you like that, but you like it being invisible at night, then there's a Black Edition for 51,800. As far as which pilot we'd recommend, which one I'd recommend, in my personal opinion, I'd say go with the Touring. It's on the higher end of the pricing, starting at 44870 like I said, but it's got the rear entertainment system, it's got the heated front and rear seats, it's got the 10-speaker sound system. It, it's kind of got the things that you'd want in a family vehicle that's going to entertain your kids and your family on long trips. So I'd say the Touring, believe it or not. That's, that's my advice. It's not very economical, but hey, it's me. Now, all pilot trims do come standard with a V6 engine and front-wheel drive. All-wheel drive is available as an option on all but the base trim LX. Standard features across the board include Honda's Sensing suite of safety and driver assist features, tri-zone automatic climate control, USB ports, and Bluetooth. And then on the EX trim and above, you get things like Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, a sunroof, power-adjustable driver's seat, extra frills like that. Some more notable features of the Pilot include its comfortable seating for up to eight people. That's right, there's a third row in there and it's quite sizely. It's large cargo area and it's advanced safety features like we mentioned. The Pilot also has a number of convenience features that make it a great choice for families, including rear seat entertainments and built-in vacuum cleaner. That's right, a built-in vacuum cleaner, unless there's a chip shortage on those still. And when it comes to safety, Honda is still one of the best SUVs in the market, including features like lane keeping assist, adaptive cruise control, and a blind spot monitor. The Pilot also has a five-star safety rating from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, or the NHTSA, that's right. All in all, the Honda Pilot is, and has always been, the car of the future, because it always feels like it's just as good as everything else, but one step ahead. And again, I trusted this vehicle for years, so never once did it have a major problem. In fact, don't know why I got rid of it. Anywho, if you're looking for a reliable and safe SUV like I had, the Honda Pilot is a great option. Just don't get rid of it.